Hey guys, today we're going to be reading a story called Turtle and Tortoise Are Not Friends by Mike Reese and illustrated by Ashley Spires. There is a place far, far away, and in that place two eggs found themselves in the same pen. Hello, 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 said the eggs to each other. A turtle popped out of one egg, and a tortoise popped out of the other. What fun we'll have together, said the turtle. We shall be best friends, said the tortoise. People will call us the Terrible Turtle Twins. Oh, but I'm not a turtle, said the tortoise, not quite so warmly. I'm a tortoise. A turtle is a horrid beast with rough skin and a hard shell, while I am a handsome creature with a hard shell and rough skin. I understand, said the turtle, even though he didn't. I guess we can't be friends. It just wouldn't make sense, said the tortoise. So the turtle and the tortoise walked to opposite sides of the pen. Just then, the zookeeper came by with a group of school children. In here, we have a turtle and a tortoise. They can live to be 100 years old. Good heavens, said the turtle. Goodness gracious, said the tortoise. Over the next 14 years, the turtle and the tortoise had many interesting adventures. They each refused to tell the other about them. The turtle found a worm that looked just like Winston Churchill. He ate it. The tortoise was carried off by an eagle. Then another eagle carried him right back. They went through some terrible winters. And some wonderful New Year's Eves. But not even that could bring the turtle and the tortoise together. One day, something truly exciting happened. A big red ball bounced over the wall and landed right in the center of the pen. It's mine, said the turtle. Not if I get there first, said the tortoise. And the two creatures raced as fast as they could toward the ball. The turtle got there first, seven years later. Gasp, said the turtle. Once he had the ball, the turtle did not know what to do with it. He sniffed it, then he chewed it. It tasted horrible. Bleh, said the turtle. Finally, he climbed on top of the ball. I'm king of the zoo, he cried. Then the ball rolled over and the turtle landed on his back. He waved his little arms and legs, but he couldn't turn over. Two years later, the tortoise reached the center of the pen. Well, 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 said the tortoise. It seems the ball is mine. He climbed on top and the ball rolled over, and then both of them were stuck on their backs. The turtle and the tortoise lay helpless on their backs through snow and wind and rain, for the next 17 years. During all that time, they spoke only six words to each other. I'm rather mad at you, said the tortoise. Ditto, said the turtle. One day, the new zookeeper, the son of the old zookeeper, came by with a group of school children. Look at these two groovy chums out sunning themselves. We call one a tortoise and one a turtle, but in fact, all tortoises are turtles. Good heavens, said the tortoise. Goodness gracious, said the turtle. You know, old boy, I'll bet if we worked together, we could flip ourselves over, said the tortoise. Let me think about that, said the turtle. And six years later, he reached a decision. Let's try it, said the turtle. The turtle and the tortoise locked hands and rocked back and forth and back and forth. And quicker than you can read the entire Oxford English Dictionary, A to Z, 23 times, they were back on their feet. Thanks, said the tortoise. Don't mention it, said the turtle. Did I ever tell you about my trip with an eagle? asked the tortoise. No, did I ever tell you about this ugly worm I once day? asked the turtle. No, but you must. Why don't you come over to my side of the pen for some lettuce, said the tortoise. All right, said the turtle. But I don't move as quickly as I used to, said the turtle. For the first time in their long, long lives, the turtle and the tortoise walked off together, and they became fast friends. The end. Thanks for watching.